Hi, my name is Edmund Pionov and in this video I would like to share my own experiences with ayahuasca. And for those who don't know what ayahuasca is, I urge you to stop this recording and do some kind of research. A minimal research, perhaps watch a documentary, um, read an article or some kind of blog post. Because frankly I don't feel that I'm in position to explain to others what ayahuasca is because it's it's quite complex it's quite difficult to explain so i don't feel that i have this kind of authority and i would rather present it in a wrong way give a wrong interpretation of this tool <laughs> that is given to us so if you don't know anything about about ayahuasca do some kind of research and then come back to this video in which i'll tell you how ayahuasca changed my life so a little bit of a background i um, i've heard about ayahuasca for the first time around one year ago and i must say that i was intrigued <laughs> This was fascinating. This was mind blowing. This was quite deep. And from the very first, um, f from the very start, I understood that this is not a drug. That this is not a recreational drug, and this shouldn't be approached this way. In fact, this should be approached with consciousness and respect. <laughs> Above all, I think that um, ayahuasca should be um, approached with a great respect. So, I, um, I've been preparing myself mentally to drink it. And I've been postponing it over and over again because I knew that although I have a lot of experience with other psychedelics, this was a completely new level. And although I wasn't afraid that something will change in my mind or that I will not come back um, in full health, mental and physical health, uh, I knew that the experience would eventually end. However, it is very intensive and I was preparing myself for this very intensive life-changing experience. So I was postponing it over and over again and finally I rather say spontaneously I decided to do it two months ago in January in Netherlands. And for me personally it is, this was a very important time in my life. I just came back from Canary Islands um, where I've been for a month which was my uh, yeah a start of me traveling around the world and this month was very uh, inspiring. Uh, then I got to Budapest and I was about to go back to Gran Canaria um, again, to Canary Islands. So I felt like this is the right moment to drink ayahuasca because I felt like I needed some kind of insight. I needed some kind of guidance and I knew that this won't be pleasant. <laughs> this um, this gonna be tough. It's gonna be intensive. However, I have to do it. So I uh, I made a decision, <laughs> and I signed myself up for a ceremony, which would um, take place approximately nine ten days from that moment. So I had a little over a week to prepare myself mentally but also physically because I had to stop eating uh, meat for instance. And when it comes to changes that happened um, after drinking ayahuasca um, I think one of the most significant changes was that I still don't eat meat. <laughs> It is like two over two months from uh, from now, and I still don't eat meat, and I don't feel like eating it anymore. 
And um, being vegetarian, I've tried it so many times in my life. <laughs> and it was mm, occasionally uh, I did it for a day or two. However, I was born in Eastern Europe and like eating amazing dishes with meat in it is a part of my culture. <laughs> it's a part of my traditions. So it was quite impossible for me to stop eating meat. However, after drinking ayahuasca, I feel like I don't need it anymore. I don't want it anymore. And um, I became a vegetarian quite spontaneously. And the funny thing is, is that during the ayahuasca experience, during the trip, um, I wasn't confronted in any way with me eating meat. There is no like moral context or some kind of philosophy behind it. I just stopped eating, eating meat. So that was quite interesting. So the um, ceremony took place in Netherlands two months ago. And I must say that I was pretty nervous. I was very, very afraid to what will happen. And uh, however, when you make a decision, then you have to commit to it. You have to respect it. So I knew that eventually I have to do it sooner or, or sooner or later. So we drove approximately 15 kilometers from Amsterdam to a safe location and I met other people who would um, join us in a ceremony, who would drink ayahuasca with us. Two of them were shamans and the other were attendees. Some of them have drank it a few times couple of times, many times. Other, like me, uh, haven't done it before. So, um, and something that was very comforting for me was the fact that two of my best friends were there as well, and they've already drank it uh, before. So they were preparing me as well. They were answering my questions. They were um, encouraging me. Um, and it was good to have them there <laughs> as well. So this was evening time. It was January, so it was already dark. Um, the, the place where we were supposed to drink it was a very safe and comforting place. Um, we all had to take our mattresses on which we would lay. Um, we had to drink, we had to take our own water, uh, our own food. Of course, we were uh, advised not to eat before the ceremony for at least a couple of hours. So we had a, some, some kind of light breakfast. Um, but from that moment on, we haven't eaten anything. So we had our water. And of course, um, as you may know, a part of ayahuasca experience is vomiting, so purging. So every one of us got a bucket. And um, we were changing our clothes in something that was comfortable. Um, and slowly we were starting with the ceremony. We were sitting in a in a circle and shamans were giving us the instructions, the tips, the advice, how to deal with this uh, experience, how to behave, what to do, what not to do. Um, at some point they started to talking about spirits and energy and how they feel, how they're gonna feel how we feel, how they're going to be at the same level, meaning that if the journey going to become very dark and we're going to feel like we need help, they will help us. However, they will, f 
few whether they really have to come to us and do some kind of spells or not so <laughs> i can't say whether it was encouraging or discouraging at the moment um but for me i didn't really understand what they were talking about especially when it came to the more uh, spiritual instructions however i knew that i've never tried ayahuasca before and also the very first time when i took psychedelics other different psychedelics it was very mind opening mind revealing i um, i wasn't a skeptic anymore because of the things that i've seen with my open eyes yeah i start, <laughs> i started to believe that there is much more um than only what we see with our eyes so ceremony continued uh, there were some candles we uh, turned off the light and we proceeded to drink ayahuasca so every one of us would come would wait for his or her turn and he would come to the to the shamans uh, he would he or she would state the intention why are they here why are they drinking ayahuasca what do they want to achieve and uh, the drink the brew would be poured in a small glass and they and then they would drink it and uh, i saw people drink it one after another and I, and i just seen how much time they took to drink it and they most of them already drank it before so i've seen some kind of fear um i've seen a lot of fear in their eyes that's for sure however i knew that it was a very natural natural fear so after some 10 15 minutes it was my turn to drink it as well and um, a lot of uh, for those who don't know ayahuasca the the taste is quite awful it's not a pretty thing to drink and um, i can't really compare it with with anything however i felt like for the first time drinking it for the first time wasn't that bad i actually expected something more awful so it wasn't that bad so at this moment when you drink ayahuasca you know that there is no coming back you're gonna have to go through this experience you're gonna have to face it and you're gonna be confronted with what you need to be confronted with because what i understood pretty fast pretty soon is that the medicine ayahuasca the wine of soul will give you exactly what you need at that time but bear in mind that it it doesn't mean that it will be something that you want to experience but absolutely something that you need to experience so this whole experience is designed for you at this moment in your life every experience is unique every experience for every person will be different because we all are we're all different <laughs> and we are all specific and we all have our own wishes dreams needs but also issues fears our past our memories from of, of which not all of them are pretty pleasant so there are things that we hide uh, things that we hide from others but also things that we hide from ourselves perhaps some kind of trauma from the past something that we actually forgot about because we wanted to forget to forget about it and um, i think that ayahuasca will bring those to the surface 
so we will be confronted with those traumas with those fears but also we will be given a new perspective a new perspective that will help us to deal with the trauma and in many cases to to deal with it to um, to go over it if i can say so for a second i forgot how to say it in english but i hope that you understand what i mean <laughs> so far so um i drank the ayahuasca and i returned to my mattress and at that moment i knew that it's gonna take something between 30 and 45 minutes before the first effects gonna happen so the shamans put on the music the very relaxing um, uh, chants which i believe were in portuguese um, and some of them were those typical shamanic chants about ayahuasca itself so we heard some um we heard that it was about ayahuasca and it was pleasant <laughs> i must say this was something that i needed at that moment as i was anticipating as i was waiting for the for the for the journey to begin for the whole for the first effect to happen so i waited I was pretty pretty much afraid but at the same time I was peaceful because I knew that I've done it I cannot go back and I will um, I will wait for this experience with an open mind and an open heart and simply come what may <laughs> so after 45 minutes i started to feel that the time is getting slower the the, the the sounds around me they they also got became slower and i started with my eyes closed i started to see the first patterns beautiful symmetrical patterns appear in front of my eyes while I kept them closed and step by step they became more intensive more colorful more bright they started to move they started to change change colors change patterns very soon it became very kaleidoscopic if this word exists <laughs> so the music became more intense as well but in a very positive way it became more beautiful and at the same time i felt very very comfortable i I, I I got a feeling that my my uh, my body is filling with energy with a very pleasant energy a very pleasant feeling so the hallucinations the visions became more vivid and they became more intense more bright more sharp it was <laughs> at this stage it was pretty mind-blowing and although I have a lot of experience with psychedelics, this was a level, this, this peak was unlike anything I've ever seen before. It was, for me as an artist, um, this was probably one of the most inspiring things I've seen in my life. And I'm grateful until this day, I'm very grateful for what have been shown to me. So slowly after 10 15 minutes i started to i opened my eye i opened my eyes and st and i saw that the whole room which was before very dark it was only lighted by a few candles now 
it was much more brighter like I could see through the shadows and those patterns were visible as well with my eyes o open and I've seen that people that lay around me were all connected through those patterns there were all lines connecting us connecting us with lines connecting us with each other connecting us with the universe around us and the the the, the sky the the, the 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 winter night sky above us so it was quite inspiring and at this stage the shamans have invited us to drink for the second time and during an ayahuasca ceremony it works like this if you feel like you need it if you feel like you can handle it go ahead and drink for the second time if don't then don't and um, for those who have drank it for the first time it is advised to drink it for the second and even third time as well to reach a certain depth depth <laughs> so i waited for my turn i uh, i've seen other people before me drinking it and now i drank it for the second time and this pleasant experience continued however the patterns were um, changed to visions to scenes that happened before my eyes and they also were very inspiring and positive scenes because i felt like i am not a guest of this experience but i'm a host and i can adjust my experience ex ad adjust my visions and so i started to think about pleasant things that happened in the last weeks i started to um, play them like uh, like a movie before my eyes and it's the whole experience became even more uh, pleasant and something that we were actually discouraged from doing was to trying to control the experience instead of that we were supposed to observe it and see what will happen so little did i know i would be punished for this kind of playing around with ayahuasca the shamans have called for the third time to drink it and some of the people much less than the first and second round some of people came forward and i felt like if i'm going to do it i'm going all in and i want to experience it in full so i waited for my turn and i drank it for the third time this time I already felt physically not really well meaning that I felt like vomiting however I committed myself to drink it for the first time I took a lot of time I felt completely out of control with visions in front of my eyes with everything moving and I didn't feel that I have a lot of control of my body so I have to return to my mattress very soon however um, I drank it for the third time almost vomiting right in front of the shamas right, right in front of everything everyone and but I managed myself it took me a lot it took me a time <laughs> some time and then I returned to my mattress and waited for was to come and just as i started to lay down the second drink kicked in and it wasn't pleasant it wasn't pleasant at all in fact i started to see very strange things and both with my eyes closed and eyes eyes open and um some of the things started to become to become very nasty and very frightening very scary and the, the, my 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 the, this whole pleasant feeling this whole physical 
pleasant feeling started to disappear and I started to feel like this is going to become a very very bad trip <laughs> a very very bad journey and at this stage I cannot get off this ride I cannot switch off the experience I will have to deal with it so at this stage I felt like I am completely not controlling this experience and this experience is quite overwhelming the physical the pleasant physical feeling uh, disappeared and it filled my, my my mind and my body was filled with fear and I I'm not going to go too much into details because it was quite personal however the time moved even slower and I was seeing very very frightening things and I was feeling like this is the the most scary scary night of my life it switched that fast and um, every second every moment I was confronted with another dark and sinister vision some of the visions had to do with me some of the visions were the visions of war pain death suffering and uh, it just didn't stop in fact it was only more intense and more intense and more intense so i tried to think about any kind of trick that would stabilize my trip just uh, for instance by focusing on some kind of object or just focusing on a wall behind me <laughs> however it was quite pointless because i was it it was like fighting in a battlefield with a warrior and you in a you're fighting with a warrior in front of you and you feel like you're fighting really intense and you're starting to win this uh fight and at the same time two other enemy warriors are starting to attack you from the back and you stand no chance so when i uh, when yeah i felt like more in control when it comes to the visual side i was uh, attacked from another side and i uh, stopped breathing i felt like i am I like like my breathing is slower and slower and I'm and, and I'm starting to choke so if any kind of attempt to control this experience any kind of attempt to fight with it was useless and pointless and I had to deal with it I had to um, live through it I had to sur survive um, this this fight this fight for my life lasted for something between 30 and 40 minutes which at this level of subconscious subconsciousness uh, it felt like days like 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 weeks it felt like an eternity so at some point i felt like vomiting i've seen the, the the darkest things that i could imagine the, the 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 scariest things and i saw myself catapulting on my mattress jumping forward to the um to the bucket and i started to vomit i started to vomit um and it just didn't stop I, f I felt like i was vomiting waterfalls of this nasty brew that i just drank and i was vomiting so much that i just couldn't breathe in it in 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 between it was really it was really terrible but at the same time at the same time i felt like this is the beginning of the journey back like this was the deepest point 
and from now on I it's gonna be it's gonna be better so let's just suck it up and just go through it and uh, eventually after some 20 30 minutes an hour I started to feel better I started to control the um, control the control my body control my mind and for the first time that, that night I felt like this is going in the right direction and thank God that this extreme feeling that this ex extreme experience is ending so I was gradually coming back feeling like I've been going through hell through a, 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 in, in, in any kind of in, in any kind of sense I was going through hell and this was without a doubt the most scary and frightening night of my life and I cannot compare it with anything else and uh, the funny thing is is that a lot of people um, they when they drink ayahuasca when they go through the ayahuasca experience they um, meet entities from another galaxies or they see their whole life in uh, in flashbacks like watching a movie but then you watch your own movie you you watch your own life day by day week by the week by week month by month but i haven't experienced that in fact i got a very different experience a very intensive and frightening experience and i guess that i had to learn a lesson i guess that i needed to understand that I cannot just play around with those things of course I've been preparing myself for over a year however and and I think that nobody's ever ready to drink ayahuasca however I uh, I need it to experience it and when I went to the shamans for the first time to drink it for the first time and I had to I had to state my intention why am I here and I said that I'm here because I want to become a mature man so I guess that this was my initiation to become to a mature world <laughs> to becoming a mature man and I'm very grateful for this experience even though it was the the experience that i wouldn't even wish to my worst enemy um, i wouldn't wish it to anyone however it it shapes you it it um, it creates you and it lets you grow emotionally and psychologically mentally and above all spiritually so my ayahuasca experience lasted for three hours and um, i was actually surprised that i came back so 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 soon because for for next hours there were still people around me crying screaming vomiting laughing and singing and and, and, and dancing or lying on the ground lying on the mattresses and um, I got a lot of insights from this experience um, and I got a completely new reference point meaning that now nowadays when I have to face some kind of fear this fear is automatically much smaller compared to what I've seen and what I experienced and what I feel to that night 
meaning that this whole spectrum, this whole range has changed. And I think that that was exactly the experience I needed. And it took me some time to understand it. There, ma there are still many parts of my ayahuasca experience that I don't understand, <laughs> that I'm trying to understand. And um, above all, I am very grateful for this tool that we have, for this amazing opportunity that we have, um, a life-changing opportunity. It's, um, I definitely recommend it to anyone, to anyone who wants to understand life and himself or herself. I hope this is the end of my, uh, of my story. I hope that this was in some kind of way um, that I hope that this was useful in some kind of way and um, I hope that it didn't scare you because um, it's the the value the experience is short I mean a couple of hours even though it feels like eternity at the moment however the insights and the lessons that we get from this medicine the lessons from the jungle you got those lessons for the rest of your life you can use them in everything for the rest of your life so for those who want to experience more for those who want to learn more discover more and change their lives yes <laughs> i highly recommend to try it at least once Thank you and uh, goodbye.